Okay, we're at the Fort Sumter National Monument. So while in Charleston, South Carolina, we got to play tourist a little bit. One of our strips was a walk of about three miles down to the Sumter National, Fort Sumter National Monument. From there, you can look across the bay and see the USS Yorktown, and still the fleet from Race Week racing out on the bay. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's Race Week in Charlotte. Because I think Port Charlotte, this is actually Charleston Harbor. And according to the signboard, that is the USS Yorktown. Take another ports are ports, world around. After our trip down to the Fort Sumter Memorial, we got to go to the Farmer's Market. A success day walking to the Farmer's Market. Now I get to blanch it all and put it in the freezer. We talked briefly to the crew, which sounded like they were South African or Australian, from this 172-foot sailboat. Five spreaders on those masts. If the boat's 172 feet, the mass must be at least 130. So this was our view at night at Charleston Harbor. This was one gorgeous little place to spend the week. On day two, Jody decided that she was going to take the bus into town. This is where we're at, waiting for the bus to go to Folly Road, the Walmart. Uh, sat here for quite a while, but then the bus came and off I went. This process wasn't quite as easy as it might seem. First she had the bus ride into town, she did her shopping, and she had to come back on the bus and load everything into the dinghy back out to the boat. I always have to start the generator to heat the cabin so this is a little invention that we picked up from the Silver Links and uh, it does a great job heating up the cabin. Radiant, warm, dry heat. This is Charleston Harbor City Marina. dinghy dock. So most of our time in Charleston was a dinghy ride into shore and a walk of a mile to three miles to wherever we wanted to go. Fortunately Charleston is one gorgeous little town with great architecture, neat places to look at, and Jody even found a estate sale to visit. Even sitting at anchor, the Charleston River moves so fast that if you fail to put your lash your wheel over, I mean, we're named Country Dancer, but this guy is doing a polka. And that's all just from the current in the river. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning in Charlestown, South Carolina. We've been waiting for spring to break before we run across the ocean. Spring has broken. Little did we know that our perfectly gorgeous day in Charleston Harbor was cold. about to get a lot more exciting. It's been windy. It started it's been when nasty. the two boats in front of us got very close together and it looked like they had begun to tangle up their anchor chains. Then there was suddenly horns honking, people yelling, all kinds of noise, and then a fire alarm. When the sirens got close, it looked like they were coming directly to us.
still don't know what's going on. But okay. The river's running about four knots. So these guys are trying to get over against that other boat. And you can see them fighting the current. After running to the bow to cast the line to the fireboat, it's obvious that it wasn't us they came to see, but the boat's in front of us. He turns the bow to the right, and the current carries him into the right. As it turned out, there were a problem with the anchors. And as the one man on the aft boat was trying to correct the situation, he apparently fell and banged his head up pretty bad. The fireman came aboard, taped up his head, took the man and his wife into the dock where there was a waiting ambulance. Not a typical day at the anchorage. We got a rescue boat, we got a fire boat. Two firemen have boarded the boat in front of us. They've taken their medical kit on board, so we're assuming that somebody on the boat in front of us is having a medical emergency. So the firemen worked to get themselves untangled from the two boats that were already tangled, while two other cruisers dinghied over and got onto the aft boat to be able to try and untangle them. So one man and his wife to the hospital, two other cruisers moving their boat, to straighten out a drug anchor situation. The guy from the other boat is boarding her boat. Interesting day at the anchorage. So, I've taken somebody over and we are assuming that there's an ambulance sitting over there at the marina dock. And they're going to load him into an ambulance and take him to the hospital, we'd assume. 911 at its finest, folks. I didn't have time to get this while I had all three anchors tangled together. But there it was, 45 pound claw anchor which had wrapped itself around our primary anchor's chain. And then as we turned, it had scooped in our second anchor's chain and had both chains wrapped firmly around the flukes of that anchor. Moonrise in Charleston. So we've seen Charleston. We've got a nice weather window for the next two days. It's time to head for Lighthouse Bite. So with a big orange moon coming up in the distance, we say, Goodbye to Charleston. And the party boat.